This is the second part of the Solving Systems of Equations by Graphing. In the first video, we found points of intersection. This video is going to go over the special situations. So take a look at these two equations. They are not in slope-intercept form, so we know the first thing we have to do is get them into slope-intercept form. So there's this one rewritten. I need to solve this for y by just subtracting 3x from both sides. Of course, those cancel, and we have y equals negative 3x plus 6. That will be one of the equations. The other one up here requires a little more work. Subtract 6x from both sides. Those cancel. We have 2y equals negative 6x plus 4. Divide everything by 2. And we have y equals negative 3x plus 2. So that's our work for getting these into slope-intercept form. Hopefully you recognize, looking at these equations, that these two slopes are the same, but the y-intercepts are different. That should say to you, these two lines are parallel. If you can recognize that the lines are parallel, then there's no reason to actually go through the graphing routine. I will show you the graph to prove to you that these are parallel, but if you can see that the slopes are the same and the y-intercepts are different, the lines are parallel. Therefore, there is no solution. And you do need to go ahead and say, no solution. Don't just stop with saying the lines are parallel. Here's what the lines would look like. This one has a y-intercept of 6, a slope of 3, or a slope of negative 3, down 3 to the right one, down 3 to the right one. This one had a y-intercept of 2, down 3 to the right one, down 3 to the right one, and you see that these are parallel. It's the slope, the same stair-stepping kind of thing, that makes these two lines parallel. Starts out in non-slope-intercept form, so we need to rewrite. To rewrite this one, I'll start out by subtracting x from both sides, which gives us negative 5y equals negative x plus 10. Solve by dividing everything by negative 5. And of course, there's a little 1 sitting here in front of the x, and that's going to help me name my slope. A negative 1 divided by negative 5 is a positive 1 fifth. 10 divided by negative 5 is negative 2. This one, same steps, subtract 2x from both sides, which is going to give us negative 10y equals negative 2x plus 20, and then divide everything by negative 10. Clean this up, and we have y equals negative 2 divided by negative 10 reduces to a positive 1 fifth, and 2 divided by negative 10 is negative 2. Take a look at those equations. Same slope, same y-intercept means we are dealing with the same line. And if it's the same line, then that means we have infinite points of intersection. So those were our two special situations. Here's a little conclusion. If the lines are parallel, we say that there is no solution, or you may use the empty set symbol. Reminder, parallel lines have equal slopes but different y-intercepts. If the lines are the same line, we say that we have infinite points of intersection. Same lines have equal slopes and equal y-intercepts. Here's one little thing to consider. It's kind of a shortcut that doesn't require actually rewriting it in slope-intercept form. If the equations are in standard form, then all you have to do is examine the ratios of each variable. What I mean by that is look at this. Look at your x ratios. 3 over 6 reduces to 1 half. There's a 1 in front of this y. 1 over 2 is 1 half. But 6 over 4 reduces to 3 halves. The situation here is the ratio of the x's is the same ratio as the ratio of the y's, but it is not the same as the ratio of the constants. This is your parallel line situation. Look at this. There's a 1 right here. 1 over 2 reduces to 1 half. Negative 5 divided by negative 10 is 1 half. And 10 divided by 20 is 1 half. If all three of these ratios are the same, that's what tells you you're dealing with the same line. Take a look at this. This is a 1. 1 over 2 is a half. Negative 1 over 1 is negative 1. I don't need to go any further. As soon as the x ratios is not equal to the y ratios, I know that I have an intersection point. 
So if all three are equal, it's the same line. If the x and the y ratios are the same, but not equal to the constant ratios, then we're dealing with the parallel situation. That can just save you some time. So, so if we have something like this, 5x minus 2y equals 3, and this is 15x minus 6y equals 5, take a look at these ratios. 5 over 15 is 1 third. Negative 2 over negative 6 is 1 third. These are equal, but this is 3 over 5. This is not equal. This tells me this is the parallel line situation. And if it's parallel, then we know it's no solution. So you can make your conclusion about the special situations, the parallel and the same line, by just examining these ratios like this.